Hello everyone, it's Renina here and welcome to another demo video. I'll be having a look at Terra Nil, which is, I think, like a colony builder game. I'm not really sure, it looked awesome on Steam. So I thought, why not try it, see what's all about, uh, and let's just dive in together. So I am going to play the demo, of course. It's going to be a generating map. I don't know much about this game, so we're going to explore it together as we go along. I just love the music in the background, the little piano piece. It's it's really calming. Kinda sets the tone real nicely. Welcome to Terra Nil. Your goal is to rejuvenate this wasteland by covering the landscape in greenery. We can do that, I think. But before you begin, try panning uh, by moving your mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. I could also use WASD. That's nice to see. So there is not much here. Okay, so any wasteland reclamation project should start with a turbine. Select one and place one. Okay, so it costs 75 greenery. It's, it's probably the currency. Okay, I have to place it in one of the sturdy uh, places. So you see there is a little bit of rock down here. I can place it on there, on this one, or on this one. So I think... Where shall we start? I think maybe we want to start in this corner of the map. Or like, do we want to cover the middle of the map? Uh, you know what? Let's start in the middle. We can always expand to the sides. And hopefully it will be a bit easier. Because if I play this, place this here, you see there's like a little part of the edge of the map that I can't really cover. And I think we might be able to do so in the future. By maybe using all the materials then of a turbine. The animation is real pretty. Now that you've got power, we can clean the soil. Try to fit four toxin scrubbers as far from the turbine as possible. So these are toxin scrubbers. Are they probably going to clear the toxics from uh, the wasteland? So I'm going to put them. Can I rotate them? I can't. Okay. So I'm just going to put them here. Like in the middle of the turbine range. Uh, right. Here. Here. Then there. Clean soil provides the perfect place to grow greenery. Place three irrigators in a clean soil. They can be rotated by the mouse or R. Oh, okay. Oh, they, they look like this. But they can only make use of the clean soil. And I have to place three of them. Okay, so I think... The best way to go around is, is place one here. I always seem to miss a tile. That is rather unfortunate. Then I think I take the corner piece. Place one here and do the same. over here and then i'm just missing these corners here but i need to place one in the future anyway down there so okay well done you need to increase the greenery in the landscape get the greenery target to 25 percent okay so currently in 20 percent i'm going to place a windmill over here and then a the 900 in total script all of this Place one here. How far I can go without losing. Okay, so I can only put it here. And then I'm having like the tiniest bit is empty over there. And I need to place one further. But I don't think that's really possible. I'm going to put it here anyway. And let's see. I place one here. Oh, look at this. So the map expands as I go further. That's a good thing to see. So this is Terra Nil. We're basically puzzling to get the best to, to claim back this wasteland. Uh, okay, so I want to rotate this. I want to be at like 
Like this. Awesome. So it's a water pump. So water pumps fills uh, river bed tiles, water cleanses neighboring tiles. Range is extended by elevation. Let's... Can I zoom out any further? I can't. So it doesn't seem... It does increase a little bit. Let's do it here. Awesome. Okay, so this is a calcifier. A crystallized nearby greenery creating rock. Okay, so this is rather important. It needs to be placed in water. Okay, so I need to have wind turbines over here. I can place one down here. I think. Is this smart? I don't... Well, let's... Do it. Um, let's do take that little edge with us. How can I rotate so that you get most of the stuff? Okay, let's place it here. Let's say we could most of the work. And then we're putting this over here. There we go. Alright, but we, we've like left this a little bit behind, which is okay. I, I do need a calcifier over here somewhere because I need to have Let's place one there. Because I need to have my wind turbine somewhere over here. I'm going to place it here. And then... How far can I go? I have to put it here. Which is fine. Then I have to place a turbine. Let's place it over here. I, I really can't place it... Like I, I can't place a turbine over here. It seems like. So this will always be whatever it is. Maybe if I can go further. I can probably place one. Let's try this. Like, let's clean this corner up a little bit. Place it here. Is this the edge of the map is the big question. It is by looks of it. Okay, so this is the edge of the map, so we probably want to go up. No problem. At least I know that. Okay, so let's see. If I put the purifier... I don't have to worry about these tiles over there because they are next to Riverlands. And as long as I put like a clarifier, well, a purifier over here. Like all the way here without any problem by the looks of it. There we go. And then I can. put one here and then put it here then it's plus 68 and if I put a similar one down here then I can have most of it can I cover sure let's do it like this and that's basically all I can do because I can't put any turbines here this is an excavator it creates new riverbeds but poisons the land around it Okay, so I can create a riverbed here. I probably want to do it in this direction. The other hand. I put it over here. Let's try this. We can actually see whether it works. 
Okay, now... Put water in. Let's put it here. It, it will cost more than they will actually give me. Why doesn't, didn't this fill up? Oh, I need to have one of these here. Don't die. No, it's not that. How did I fill up these riverbeds? It's just that I can't place it here. Let's place one down there. I, I need to watch out for my... Like, I'm a bit experimenting here. And then I can put like... One here. And do this. And can I rotate it in such a way that I'm actually getting anything? Something like this. Okay, let's now focus on like the easiest part. Um, if I place this here, I will be able to put a turbine over here. Can I cover most of it? I can. For the 857, I think this is most of what I can get. Now I need to be careful because I don't have a lot of places left. Um, I can actually go from here. And clean up all this land. Eighty-nine. Anything higher than that I can get. Seven. No, not really. Ninety-one. Let's go for it. And then we do need more water. Whatever I do, I can only fill like one of these. That's fine. Uh, but also, I can actually go on this side. Sure, let's place one here. And let's see. 56, 59, 62... Am I getting anything more than 62? It's 61. 41, 60. Not a lot here, which is okay. Like 63, I, I'm happy with that. And we can do the same here. Basically, put one over here. I don't think I have enough. I don't. Can I build any of these that will give me anything? I think so. Maybe a bit down here? That did give me a little bit. I don't think it's enough. Now we only have 26. No, I think this is it. I think we've done most that we can. Like, we're at 81% greenery. So, current climate reached the climate temperature and humidity for rewards. Okay, so we're not there yet. But anyway, I think this is it. There, there is not really anything I can do, I feel like. I 
mean, we can do this, but not really sure whether it does anything, really. Did I... Miss... Yeah, probably trying to make this work over here didn't really work out for us. But anyway, you guys, I hope you loved this little insight in uh, Terra Nil. I am really curious how this game is going to develop further. I mean, it looks like a really puzzle, uh, really nice puzzle game. It really reminds me of... Um, it's called Island? Where you have, like, this island where you have to, like, build uh, separate pieces and they give you points. And if you don't get the points that you need for the next round, you fail and you go from island to island. It really reminds me of that. So I'm curious as how this will develop any further. Is there going to be more? Because I do see, like, the Roman number one here. So are there going to be more tabs? Are there going to be different worlds? Are you, for example, getting more ways to get the uh, Toxy uh, Wasteland gone? Uh, do we get more irrigation techniques? I am not really sure. I am really not that sure. So, anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this demo. If you want to play uh, Terra Nil yourself, let me know in the comment section down below. And also let me know whether you want, me see, uh, whether you want to see me playing this when it's uh, fully released. Have an absolutely lovely day. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you want to see more videos of mine. And feel always free to check out my YouTube channel because there's a lot of content on there and there's probably something for everyone. See you guys around. Have a lovely day and bye!